Hey guys, how's it going? RTJ Ryan here again. I need to come up with a new catchphrase. This one is wearing out. And we're at the four crossroads of doom, death, and despair. Because everywhere you go, it's either doom, death, or despair. Now, you remember from the last time that one of these doors is locked. Unfortunately, it isn't this one, so I might as well head in here. Oh, what awaits me. In here. You know, you know what, um, I'm just gonna close this door. Because I know, I know for a fact, something scary is gonna come in here and go, Bleh, all in my face. And here we have a note. 9th of August 1839. I can't stop sweating and shaking. You should see a doctor the for that. The morning ritual was not something of a sane mind. I did not even realize the dungeon was still in use. Alexander had his servants bring one of the prisoners, a murderer, he told me. Alexander made all the arrangements, but he said I had to perform the ritual in order to have the right effect. The shadow could be led astray by the blood of another. Killing the man would provide us precious time. What else could I do? Alexander said it had to be done. He is saving my life. I don't have the luxury of argument. Are you sure he's saving your life now? Are you sure? You, you know, he might be leading you on a wild goose chase. This Alexander fellow, he seems like quite a dodgy bloke. It's not working, something must be wrong with the machinery. Oh, goody. What about this one? No? No? Oh. Crap, I forgot. I'm not even timing this. Uh, just give me a minute here. And uh, where is my app here? It is. Not even sure how far we are into the video. I'll just assume about three or four minutes. Okay, alrighty then. Well, that wasn't really um. That wasn't really that scary. Didn't have. Didn't bring us any doom, death, or despair. Well. Maybe, maybe slightly, uh, maybe a slight bit of despair, but definitely not doom or death, thankfully. No oh, joy, we're not going in there. That is lovely. One less room to go into. Whoa. I'm not sure whether to keep the store open or closed. <sighs> anyway, might, might as well put this to use. Oh, down we go. Might as well light that up as well. Oh boy. Yeah, just gonna explore this room. There might be something to have to collect or pick up. Oh great, more tinder boxes as if I need more of those. An AK-47. Or a freaking revolver gun would do. Or some sort of some sort of weapon blood to object like this um rock here, which I can pick up. I mean, something to defend myself against the monsters. Especially the new... the new one. Agrippa, I need you to stay <laughs> awake. Can you feel the syringe? No. I can't feel anything. Alexander? Yes? Soon, I won't even be able to move, will I? Your life is safe. I don't doubt that. But will it be worth living? I really would love to know who this Agrippa fella, Agrippa fella is. Seems like a nice bloke. Oh, holy shit, that's him down there, I bet. I bet that's Agrippa. 
Agrippa, I'm coming for you. Alexander sent me down here to kill you. Now, ooh, do I have any any weapon or any means by which to kill this fellow? Hmm. I've got a box here. Oh shit. Crap, I ain't going in or near him. He might just hop up and do the oogie boogie. Speaking, man. Pull what switch? This switch? Help me. I'd rather not, man. You're there for a reason. Next to me. Who's the switch? How the hell are you even speaking? Your your mouth is gone. Help me. Thank you. You have my gratitude. My name is a great what you Daniel? Like the prophet thrown into the lion's den? <laughs> Tell me, hmm. are you among the lion's den? I have no idea what you're talking about, man. That would be correct. Oh my, so Babylon shall follow you, sir. <laughs> you hurry too much. Alexander is toothless without an all. Hmm. You look to be quite toothless yourself, dear. That's not very promising at all. The sight of is basically penetrant, but I guess it's my fault. It could be reached by another, but Alexander broke his, I mean, my own, a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Then if you tell the truth, by all means, seek out the pieces of the broken arm and mend away. Mm -hmm. I believe he uses them for torture now. They practically leak mad, which is quite useful, I understand. There should be six of them. Look around the fire and the transept. You should be able to find them there. Okay, uh, question, how the hell is this guy able to talk? I hate to bother you, Cursor, but... What now? If you're really going after Alexander, would you consider taking me this you? Hell no. I What's wrong with you? Ridiculous. I mean, look at him. But if you find anything concerning a man named Johan Hai, would you please bring it to me? I believe he is working on a way to help him. A recipe for some sort of potion, a tonic to free me from this husk of mine. What level? Oh, that level. So many of Alexander's things are breaking down now. Look around. Maybe the other room. There are machine parts hidden all over this place. You'll find a way to fix it. Fix what? He suddenly brought up a machine for no reason. Ah, oh, boy. Hmm. Mini, 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 and you might have noticed I'm not checking my notes because I don't need to because I'm a freaking badass. So I'm just a genius when it comes to these games. Whoa, what the hell was that? Yeah, I'd be scared too. To do what to do what to do and if there's more of these cells it means I'll be chased because these are often places to hide oh, nothing useful in there anyone anything here hello anybody no oh, tinderbox enough probably 46 of these by now I have barely used these. Okay, nothing. Good, great, fantastic. And I'll just go upstairs just to check if there's any doors up here. Any notes? Ooh, 
me. That would come in handy. No, nothing there. I know this. I've been here already. I know this taste. The taste of the Damascus Rose obfuscating the truth in the dim haze. They may sweep the traces from my memory, but my body remembers. It's in cuts with volumes, even though my body remains. They will be back. Oh, they will be back. Oh, they'll always be back. Excuse me? Is there someone or something scary down there? No? No? Good. Okay, so I'm going to proceed. Oh boy. She had gone too far, the man was suffocating as he could no longer breathe properly between the lashes. Displeased, he started to look for the, dam uh, the, the Damascus Rose Oil. Hmm. Okie dokie. More scary than wait. Hmm. I have a feeling something scary is gonna come down there from the rooftop and scare me. Wasn't that wasn't Mr. Tons of Fun, was it? This is definitely the four crossways of Doom and Gloom here. Just a little further. It's like Orpheus descending into the underworld. Are you hiding something? What do you mean? Never mind. Your intuition is remarkable. I'm not sure I'm following. It doesn't matter. It's just a myth after all. Oh boy. Screw it, I'll go this way. I'm screwed if he's actually hiding in there. Because, as, as you all know, it's almost freaking impossible, or, well, it's not impossible, but it's difficult enough to open the door when you're under pressure. Also, awesome. once again, sorry, over since I recovered the orb I found <coughs> first found it by Grippa. I've, de I've depended on it for my research. In okay. Yeah, very interesting. Okay, whatever. Hmm. No. Oh. I know who you are. You're a little baby Jesus. So long. Uh, that is just blasphemy in the third degree. Hmm, is there anything up here that I need? No, 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 no. These aren't collectibles. Performing satanic rituals. Got 
demon worship. Can't talk today. We got demon worshippers here. And any second now, Mr. Tons of Mine's going to come charging at me. No, no, he isn't. No, oh, good. That is absolutely fantabulous. ritual is taking longer than expected and we have to do what is needed. I spend my time helping out the prisoners. Being around these degenerates makes me ill. None of them even tries to face their punishment with any kind of dignity. They taunt me with their lies of innocence and their cowardly pleas of mercy. What can make a man fall so far from the grace of a civilized existence? They are all wicked men, and I remind myself of it constantly. Still, I am thankful for God sending these monsters our way, as they will serve as the instruments of my salvation. I try to study the different tools in the torture chamber and learn how to use them effectively. Last time was messy, and the effect suffered from my inexperience. When the next warding is to be performed, I shall be ready. Daniel, you bastard. You are just a uh, freaking murderer. Of course, it's men are instant. And you're just trying to thank God. How dare you? You won't go to and what will fix this. It's all a metal in good shape, just no use. Meat? No. But of tar? So open this shit. Oh, hold on. What do we have here? Oh, another tender box. Can I just. Do it? Fucking hell. To do this the old fashioned way. Picked up a tender box, and there isn't anything else here in this room that I can use. No, 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 good. And we are. At 19 minutes now. Whoops, went the wrong way. 19 minutes, I think. But I'll just keep playing for another two or three just to see what else I can find here. Yes, this game is becoming really, really interesting. Although I have no interest in reading the notes because they just take way too long. What the hell? Are we do are we doing some sort of interdimensional time traveling here or something? Hmm. Ouch. No. Well, we're not going through that way without this fear, I think. And on that note I'll just end the game here. Yeah, so far quite interesting. I just can't wait to get to the end. And I know there's multiple endings, but I won't bother my ass going through them because this game is scary enough. Anyway, until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.